Lesson 2. Installing Printix Client and what this means for existing printer queues. Here we have a Windows 10 Azure Join computer. Let's first check the printers that are already installed. We can see the accessories are set correctly and we are using a TCP IP port. This is the case for both printers. We also note that we are using the native manufacturer drivers. In this case, for the Lexmark, it's a universal printer driver. Again, we're using a standard TCP IP based port. Now let's go ahead and open WordPad just to see how the behavior is before we install Printix. We'll bring up the native Windows printing dialog and open the properties for this printer queue. We have the full feature set of this device supported by its driver. We'll set up the job and send it off. The notification shows us the print job was sent to the printer. So this is just straight up printing using a TCP IP connected printer. The next thing we'll do is download and install Printix client for an existing Printix tenant I have created previously. The fastest way to do this on Windows or Macintosh is simply to go to the download link, which is always tenantname.printix.net slash download. As it installs, it takes a look at the locally installed printer queues and in this case, it will find the two TCP IP connected devices and automatically convert them. This means we are converting the ports to be managed by Printix now. This is a default setting on any Printix tenant that we can also change later on. Because this computer is Azure joined, I'm automatically signed in with my Microsoft account. Printix client will now start converting the queues as soon as I'm signed in. So it is mandatory to have Printix client installed and been signed in with your according account. Now let's see what the behavior looks like after installing Printix client and after converting the printer queues. We'll repeat the exact same process, opening the printing dialog, choosing the driver, choosing the printer queue, going through the different options and printing the document. So to make it short, there is no change to the end user. The only thing that really happened is we converted the queues and appended the Printix ID in the queue name. We can also tell Printix not to rename any queues and append any Printix IDs. We'll get to that when we talk about managing printer queues. The main takeaway of this is we haven't really changed anything in terms of queue names, drivers, etc. We can see it's the exact same driver. We've simply replaced the port so we can now actively manage this printer queue. On a side note, it is usually assumed that this print job now goes through the Printix cloud, which is not the case. We are still printing locally within your firewalls directly from your computer to the printer. The only thing that's changed is the Printix service is now involved.